Hi everyone, I'm Juwan and with Juwan and Sai sending messages for our beautiful, most magnificent Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Sagittarius. So, Sag, this is your life, love, energy for November 2020. Guys, I would love if you guys can check out your Mercury Retrograde Tarot reading for October 13th to November 13th. That is where you will get some clarity. And then, especially right before you watch this, like that is where you'll be like, oh, I get it. I understand. Okay. So it's super important to me if you guys do that. Okay. So that way, when you watch this video, you will say, you know, oh, okay, I get it now. You know, this either resonates with you or it doesn't because it is a general reading, right? So this is your life and love energy for the month of November 2020. This is for <clears throat> Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Sagittarius. So, guys, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful birthday. So, shout out to all of you who share a November birthday with our wonderful, deep, mysterious Scorpio people. All right? So, happy birthday to some of you out there. Oh, I can't seem to straighten my car is the way I want. All right, so let's see how this is going to go. I already pre-shuffled food anyway, so it shouldn't take long. Okay, guys? But if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to drop the questions below. Um, you guys can visit my website at g1insights.org. Um, every Tuesday we go live on Instagram. There you can also have like a really deep interactive conversation with me. And um, I would love it if you guys can subscribe to my channel. That would be really dope as well, okay? So let's see what the universe has for you, my love. <coughs> Oh my God, if this card come out one more time. <sighs> this card has come out literally for like every other zodiac sign, guys. And I have put it back, took it out, took it out, put it back. <laughs> like, it just keeps coming out. So I guess like the most important message for all of us is just to like, you know, pay attention to what Spirit is sharing with us during our most restless times like during our dreams or during the times where we are relaxing the most during the times where maybe we're just simply exercising you know spirit is going to be speaking to us um and it's interesting because no matter what i do no matter how much i shuffle that one card just keep coming out and I always put it back because I don't like to um, linger in the energy from like another zodiac sign. So I always try to make sure that we have clarity for whatever card do come out. So that is what I'm doing right this second. All right, so so far you have express your sensuality. Amen to that, okay? Express your sensuality. Be sexy, be funny, be charismatic, you know? That's what that's all about, oh yeah. Show your personality, my love. This is the Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Sagittarius. And so the Sagittarius man, the dolphin came out. <laughs> it says, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> this is the Sagittarius man and the Sagittarius woman. <laughs> How beautiful, guys. This is so beautiful. Wow. Oh my god, another card that just keeps coming out, the peacock. Let's put it back. Let's see one more time. One more time is a charm, guys. Like I said, it's certain cards that just keep popping out. Luckily for you, nobody got sensuality in the dolphin. So you are pretty much good on that. Um, but I'll tell you right now, this is all about your wisdom and your knowledge and understanding of self. This is also a very spiritual month for you. This is also a time for you to kind of focus on yourself as well. So let's get one more card. Let's get one more for you, Sag. Oh my 
God, Pika came back out. <laughs> like I said, if it's your energy, it's gonna come back out. But like I said, I don't like when the energy lingers. I like to get confirmation. I like to make sure that this energy is for you, okay? So, yeah, it came back out. That is crazy. You guys just saw me put this back in the deck. I shuffled. I was talking a lot of shit, and it came right back out. So, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with it. Maybe that's what Spirit wants for you. So, <laughs> I'm not going to mess with it. Let's look at your tarot cards, my love, and let's get clarity on that. Why is sensuality here? All right. Oh, look, the world card. Ah, yes. Now that is the energy I'm looking forward to. Amen to that. All right. Why is the dolphin here? It's a, wow, really? So the tower card and a bunch of other cards kind of flipped out on top of that. I wish you guys could see this. Look. <laughs> That is crazy. But like I said, <laughs> I don't know why that just happened, okay? But um, yeah, some of the wands, all that. Taking care of yourself, okay? Not having fear to kind of break free and, and be you. That is crazy. Why is the dolphin here? It says, don't worry, be happy. Why is the dolphin energy here? Okay, the ending, okay, it's time to end things. The ending, it's time to end things. And it came out of reverse, my love. So get ready to end some things. I feel like with this energy here, with the dolphin energy, it's like you guys are on edge. And you are ready to kind of break free from something, okay? Breaking the chains, okay? Moving on from what no longer serve you. That is really crazy. That is actually also Scorpio's energy as well. Who? Why is the peacock energy here? It says, raise your standards, Sagittarius. Raise your standards. Why is the peacock energy here for our beautiful Sagittarius, my love? Why? Oops. Okay, really? Okay. They just keep falling out. <laughs> okay. Let's see what it says, my love. Hold on. Okay, so we have the emperor that kind of flew out. And then we also have the... <laughs> the ace of horses that flew out but we're gonna put that back again Sag I don't know what's going on with your energy but I feel like you're just ready for some type of change wow 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 thoughts <laughs> that's the song that's in my mind right now I'm thinking of this because it's super crazy why is the peacock energy here why is the peacock energy here? Why is it saying to raise their standards? Please show me why Sagittarius have the peacock. Okay. <laughs> it says that some of you are worth a whole lot more than what you are requesting. If you will like a raise, then you should ask for that raise. If you are looking for a promotion, then you should seek out for that promotion. If you are looking for a better job, then you should be going after that job. If you are looking for a better position or a better um, environment to kind of share your energy with, then it shall be. Okay? So it says raise your standards. And that is why the Three of Pentacles came out in reverse. Because it's like, as if you're not kind of really getting what you're deserving of okay and with the death card being here this is the ending to something okay you're cutting something off there's a new beginning approaching you Saj and you're gonna have to cut some situations off you may be leaving a situation you may be leaving a job or starting a new job or you may feel like ever since you got this job things kind of been on edge but the universe is saying not to worry, everything will be okay. And with the world card being here with your sensuality, oh, you're going to be just fine. You know, try not to focus too much on um, what didn't work. You know, try to focus on things that really genuinely make you happy. Okay? Um, try to focus on things that bring you um, a lot of satisfaction. 
You know, when I think of sensuality, I think, you know, just look at this card, guys. Just look at it. You know, it's like when I think of sensuality, it's like I think of you taking everything in. You know, like taking everything in in a way where you are, I feel like you're just more connected with this energy. Okay, look at this card really good. Being a sensual person means that you have like a, um, a heightened sense of awareness, you know, for like um, touch smell your senses your um you know things that you hear things that you taste things that you smell things that you feel you know those are all sensuality things i feel like this can also be a very sexual energy especially for those of you that are in deep love this can be a very sexual energy guys you know, look at this. Look how, you know, she seems so satisfied, right? Sensuality plays a huge part in your sex life. Just think about it. This can be like your pleasure overall, like when it comes to your career or your love life. But I feel like a lot of you are also eager to... Um, experiment in life and as you experiment you know you're gonna find out a lot of more about yourself about what kind of person you are what you're attracted to what you desire that is what sensuality is all about look at her she has a cup to herself and she's like it's almost like as if she's like fueling herself, you know, fueling herself with everything that she needs. And then we have this guy at the top who's like kind of lifting up things out of the way so that you can sense and taste and see and feel and touch and understand, you know. Beautiful energy, guys. And with the world called me here, my love, you have so many resources and so much attention and support that is here for you as you are on embarking on this whole new journey okay like i said endings and new beginnings are here for you all right so let's look at some love cards though for you my love you know let's look at some love cards for you let's see what spirit would like to share with you at this time when it comes to love this is for sagittarius sun moon rising or venus and sagittarius this is your love reading for November 2013. Thank you. That's like 2013. What happened in 2013? Hmm. That is strange. I didn't mean to say that on the 13th minute of this video. So I don't know what that means for you, my love. November 2013. <laughs> what, what what happened in 2013? In November of 2013. Did you guys get married? Did you fall in love? Did you have children? Are you reconnecting with a vibe that you had in 2013? Are you falling back in love with the person that you were dealing with in 2013. Wow. Are you reconnecting with who you were in 2013 of November? What was happening at that time? I don't know why I said that. That actually fucking spooked me. <laughs> because I was so confident. I was so sure I was saying 2020 and... 2013 flew out so I'm not sure what that means for a lot of you but you know me I'm one of those people I like to go with what spirit is saying okay so this is what Sagittarius someone arising on Venus is Sagittarius for November 2020 please show us what we need to know is there anything that we need to be aware of please show us
I feel like some type of relationship is coming to an end. Yep. Some type of relationship is coming to an end, okay? Either you or this person is feeling um, total, like, like you guys are not being fulfilled emotionally, okay? Some of you can also be feeling a bit left out, um, feeling like, um, you know, like the more you give, you know, nothing is being given back. I feel like a lot of you will need to have like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone, kind of let them down easy, or someone can be possibly breaking up with you or letting you down easy. Um, if you look closely at the dolphin car, it seems like as if someone is um, holding on to this shell and this person is like, nope, we gotta let you go, we gotta let you go. And these people are like constantly trying to hold on and not, you know, they're not trying to let go. They're like, well, what am I going to do without you? You know, no, I'm comfortable here. I want to be here with you, you know. And instead of these bubbles, you see, like, the eagle. You see some other nice birds here, um, which, which kind of actually represents freedom, flying away, getting away from life troubles and obstacles. You know, and I feel like that's what it's been for you in this relationship. We feel like you've been trapped inside of some type of bubble or some type of illusion or something and i feel like and you know i don't i don't feel like you want to break away from the friendship of this partnership or this relationship but i feel like you want to separate yourself from this um big commitment or this situation that you have put yourself in um, this could be a deep committed relationship that maybe you agreed to at one point and now you're like mm, i'm not sure right but like i said self-indulgence also came out guys which again is talking about focusing on you focusing on yourself your self-worth taking the time to heal okay um doing some self-appreciation so again is it does seem like you guys are going to be kind of separating yourself from a situation or some people or a particular person especially if this is about love you are thinking about separating yourself from a situation or the, it will be some type of separation okay now for some of you this can also be maybe you thought about separating yourself from a situation and maybe you did at one point feel like you needed to kind of get away maybe you did feel trapped or confused or um felt like you couldn't really break free right but now some of you could be saying you know what maybe if i just raise my standards a little bit maybe i just focus on what what my core values are maybe if i just focus on what really matters to me maybe if i just continue to work hard for what i really want you know maybe this person will see me maybe i'll be able to give this person what i always wanted to give this person you know i feel like a lot of you are going through a lot of different emotions right now because it has been a lot of confusion because you went from an energy of just kind of like again focusing on yourself when it comes to what you admire what you feel what you taste and what you want and you have had so much coming at you um especially if this was love you i feel like a lot of you had a lot of opportunity and some of you actually took it for granted you know um so again i feel like you you're dealing with a person that is the chaser maybe they are always chasing you and chasing you and chasing you and because you have been you know focused this way you know with the world card energy you're focused on going that way okay i need to make a new change i need to make some decisions and again that guy in the corner is also facing this way so it's letting you know that maybe you've been looking at things in all the wrong ways maybe you're making some um some crazy decisions and again we have the chaser card energy going um, you know, well, to me, it's like going that way, but to you, of course, it's also going that way. So, yeah, so this is an energy where it's like, no, you know what, fuck that. I'm going to show you what you mean to me. I'm going to show you how much I love you, how much I want you, 
okay instead of you being the one that chased me all the time let me be the one to show you how much you mean to me okay and like i said with the dolphin energy being here um it says don't worry be happy stop stressing so much okay why are you stressing so much why are you worried about all the things that you know don't really matter right now why are you focused on all, all of these things that can bring you down and make you sad why are you focusing on all the things that don't really matter when it's all said and done but to you that's the crazy part to you it does matter and i think that for you it does represent a lot of emotions but i feel like you guys want to be free i feel like there's a lot um of information that needs to come out to the surface as well okay um this can also be a lot of spiritual energy, guys. Look how deep this card is. There's like a lot of birds here. But this can also, again, this is, to me, is saying freedom. I want to be free. I want to get away. It's saying escape from the stress of life by being more relaxed and doing more of what you enjoy, doing more things that are creative and fun and exciting. Try not to stress over your issues too much. I feel like that is the one thing that, you know, again, you know, you're, you're cutting back on things that no longer serve you. It's like, you know what? No, I want to get back to me. I want to go back to having fun in my relationship. I'm tired of going against the grain. I want to have fun in my relationship. I want to be happy. I want to talk more. I want to have sex more. I want to laugh more. I want to go out more. You know, and here you are. You have the coffee cup energy and love. And this is all about having a heart to heart conversation, you know, meeting, counseling, conversing, um, savoring the moments, feeling uplifted, you know, having that friendship. Again, another sign to get this exact energy, too. I can remember if it was like an Aquarius or a Capricorn or Leo, but somebody got this energy as well. Um, you know, and then right on top of the peacock, you gotta raise your standards and the three of cups and self indulgence. So again, you know, it's really some people may look at it like as if you guys are being selfish, but I feel like you just wanna get back to your love life. There's you I feel like you guys are saying, Look, no more interference in my relationship. No more of saying what you wanna say about how I love and what I think and what I feel. I'm gonna do what I want and I'm sorry that it offends you, but I'm gonna find Finally do what makes me happy so with that being said Sag you know I thank you for watching I love you but I do gotta go I would love if you guys can become one of my subscribers so that way each and every time that I upload a video or go live or post anything you guys will be amongst the first to know if you would like a personal tarot reading for you then you can literally visit my website at g1insights.org the links will be posted below every Tuesday we are live on Instagram at G1 Insights, hashtag 555. The link is posted below. Thank you for all your love and support. Guys, don't forget to also get one of your holiday candles with my candle line, Passion versus Pleasure. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Be good to yourself. I'll see you guys later. I can't wait to speak to you guys again because I would love to know what all this is about. Okay? Bye, guys.